Yo, what's up? James here. Um, welcome to a special video, maybe part of a series, I'm not sure yet. Um, what I'm calling um, Let's Animate. Um, one of the various feedback um, comments that I got from the previous videos was that people wanted to see uh, me actually animating something. Uh, preferably from scratch. Um, uh, I wasn't really too keen on doing that because uh, I don't think it would make for a very interesting video. It'd certainly make for a long video. Um, but nevertheless, uh, I think it's worth at least um, going through my workflow uh, on video so that you guys can see um, kind of the concepts that I've been talking about through the previous videos um, actually in real time, well not real time, but kind of being played out in sequence. Um, so that's what this video is going to be. What I'm going to do actually is um, take this, this attack that I kind of like explained before and I'm going to animate a second attack after this and kind of turn this into a two part combo and I'm going to do that in this video so what do I do first well if you if you watch my first video where I talk about the planning stages before we animate in Maya um, what I usually do is lots of research and uh, at this point I've kind of established the character already so uh, I don't need to do any of that stuff but I kind of would like so I, I kind of come up with some ideas and since this is like a nice beginning strike um, but it's quite a normal attack it's not like it's nothing flashy and I think the second attack should be the end of the combo, which is a two hit combo. And so I want to finish this combo with something a little bit more flashy. Uh, yeah. So I did some thumbnails of kind of what I want to go for. So this pose here is the pose here. It's kind of the final pose. And from there, he's going to take one step forward, but not stop there. He's going to spin with his sword and kind of jump into the air at the same time and get a nice wind up anticipation. And as he lands, as he plants his foot, he's going to swipe his sword round and kind of spread himself out and kind of end in this pose. Uh, that's the idea. So as you can see it's a little bit of a bigger attack, a little bit more elaborate, a little bit more um, extravagant. Uh, and I think it would make a nice, a nice two part combo. So swipe and then spin round this one. Cool. So I've done my planning. I've got my poses. I kind of know what I want to do. And uh, yeah, I'm done with it. Okay, so now I've put in some poses into my. I've looked at my thumbnails, uh, each of these kind of key poses, and I've put them into Maya. Well, you can see on the timeline here. So this is the end of the first attack, and now he will go into a second attack. I haven't really concentrated too much on the timing, so I've just kind of put them in. Um, these are all full body keys, by the way, um, and I've just put them in kind of just as I felt, I'm not really thinking about it too much at the moment, just making sure that the poses are all there and in relation to each other and um, 
Yeah, so at the moment it looks a bit rough. You can see that the arcs are not very smooth. Um, there's some feet sliding going on. This transition is not great yet. Um, but basically, if you if you go through each pose one by one without the in betweens, it doesn't look too bad. Um, like I mentioned in one of my other videos, I don't use constant and I don't use linear. Um, I animate straight in spline mode. For me, it works. For me, it's um, quicker and easier. Um, I mean, as you can see from here, I do quite a lot of poses. I think about quite a lot before animating. So um, there's not usually very much space in between my keys. Uh, so Maya can't screw up really too much. But any problems I do have, I'll tighten up later. But yeah, for now I've, I'm pretty happy that I've managed to transfer all of my poses from uh, my thumbnails into Maya. It's looking okay. Um, so next, what I'll do, now that I've got all my poses, is that I'll start, um, like I said, tightening up some of these um, foot sliding. I'll look at the weight of, like the main weight of the character in the center of gravity, and I'll look at how each pose works out, whether it's um, where it's shifted around too much, um, whether I need to add more weight in certain areas and take away weight from certain areas. Um, I'll figure out the timing, and if this is not, if it's too fast or too slow in certain parts, I'll start dragging the keys out. Before I start making like arm keys or feet keys or whatever, I'll make sure that this timing is, is okay as it is the full body keys because once you start keying just certain body parts it gets a little bit more messy so at the moment it's fairly clean and uh, I have a little bit more control over it at this stage so once that's alright then I'll start looking at individual body parts keying them, looking at the arcs, making sure they're smooth and uh, making sure the timing is sharp so that's what I'm going to do now Okay, um, <clears throat> so I've been uh, tightening up some of the animation, um, as you can see by the timeline here, I've been making a couple more keys. Basically what I've been doing is um, uh, fixing his... Um, foot placement so there's not so much sliding I've been smoothing out this transition a bit I've also made the the end of this attack a bit more punchy so it goes into the next attack a little bit more smoothly and as you can see what I've also done <clears throat> because for me it helps um, like I mentioned before in one of the other videos that just as important as the attack is, is the feedback. Um, the reaction to your attack, it sells your attack just as much as the animation of your attack. So if the feedback that you get from the animation you create in your attack, if the feedback is, is weak, if it looks weak and it doesn't look like it connects and it doesn't feel like the energy is being transferred from his weapon and from his body into his enemy, it will make everything feel weaker and less, um, yeah, less powerful, less interesting to look at, and it will just kind of let everything down. Um, so it helps sometimes. I I do when I'm doing previews or whatever to to have just kind of a standing um, enemy, just so I can see how it's looking. And uh, it's not looking too bad. I mean, I haven't really animated the the kind of placeholder thing too much. This is very simple, but it helps me get an idea of how the, the attack is looking from a 
the actual point of view of, of being an attack in a game rather than just a choreography piece of choreography um, so yeah it's getting there it just needs a little bit more smoothing out um, those arcs need to be a little bit more polished some of the body movement needs fixing and then we can go and add things like drag this finger animation some nice settle animation quite basic at the moment but uh, yeah it's getting there um, so that's what I'll be doing next and here we have it um, we have the first strike and we have the second strike I've added um, a little bit more tidiness to the attack the arc of the sword is a bit smoother the settle is a bit nicer, you can see a little bit of finger animation not too much enough he moves his head after the attack and um and there you have it that's the full process from beginning to end and of course after that you can add a um, kind of an animation transition back to his this pose afterwards or you could even carry on the combo although you'd have to adjust the, the enemy's reaction um, but there you have it, that's the whole process remember first I made some thumbnails um, um, well not on paper but I drew some thumbnails of what I wanted to do and then I made my poses in Maya not worrying about the timing too much, just making full body poses, trying to get that relationship between the poses in uh, in space, so basically spacing. And after that, work out the timing using those full body poses before I go and break down the, the animation keys. Um, uh, and uh, make sure the timing is nice and sharp and okay before breaking it down. And then it was just a matter of cleaning up like the transition between the first attack and the second making sure there's no foot sliding and, and then smoothing out all the keys making sure the arcs are nice and smooth add in some little extra bits of animation settling in the knees and the other body parts and then you have a fully animated small combo, two hit combo alright so um, yeah that's it for this tutorial this let's animate tutorial um, let me know if there's anything unclear in this tutorial in the comments um, I hope you enjoy it and I'll probably be back with another tutorial pretty soon and um, work notwithstanding Later.